What's up, y'all? So you just woke up. You got about 45 minutes to get ready for work. And you already know you ain't got time for exercise, right? Or do you? I mean, you could always do something with a little bit of free time you find while you're waking up in the morning. So, for example, getting up to the bathroom, you know, brush my teeth, boom, 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 brush my teeth, all right. Now you gotta sit down on the toilet. No matter how late you are for work, no matter how much little time you got, you're always gonna find a way to get 10, 15 minutes in the toilet, right? Right, your hair's a mess, you're all a mess, you're tired, you're sitting on the toilet. What's the first thing you do? You're gonna grab your phone, you're gonna hunch over, you're gonna be looking at your phone while you do your business for like 10 minutes, right? At least 10, 15 minutes. How about this? How about you don't pick up your phone? How about you just sit down, relax, let your shoulders fall, right? And then just close your eyes and then just do slow shrugs, right? All the way down, so you're gonna lift until just before you feel tightness, and then you're gonna drop, drop, drop. Make sure you really drop your shoulders because you know your shoulders are always like upright. So make sure you drop them, you can push a little pressure as you drop them down, right? And you're gonna lift, drop. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to do because I'm holding the phone right now, but that's it. I'll just sit with it with one shoulder. So, literally, just neutral position, lift. Drop, close your eyes, just like really feel the traps engaging. And that's it, like, and you know, you slept all jacked, your, your neck is tight. You were sleeping this way, now this is all tight, right? So this is gonna stimulate blood flow. That's it, that's all I'm asking of you. you get up, go make a tea, right? All right, boom. Maybe the toilet thing was a little bit too weird for you, right? Maybe you just want to do it while you're standing up. Okay, cool, whatever. I just, I still say you should take some time and put your phone down when you're on the toilet, at least not first thing in the morning. I'm guilty of that myself, I'm just saying. Anyway, so let's say you want to do it when you're standing. Just drop your hands, let your arms fall, let gravity, literally let gravity do some work sometimes. If you literally just drop your arms, let them hang, and then let your shoulders drop, even that feels good because you're not engaging in your muscles, you're letting gravity just hang everything down and, and open it up, right? Anyway, so you can put your hands in front of you, you can just set them to the sides. I recommend put them to your sides. So, so as you're in the position, same thing. Just teeth being made, water's boiling, whatever. Just close your eyes and just lift, drop, and don't force it in the beginning. You're gonna do slow motions, and then every time you go up, you're gonna push a little bit more. And then every time you go down, you're gonna kinda like give a little pressure. Not too much, right? Because every time you move, you're stimulating blood flow, and it's gonna start loosening up on its own, right? You can keep this going until you get to the point where you can go like, all the way up here, I just felt the pop just by doing that. Because my shoulders are pretty loose right now from all the work I've been doing. And that's it. Right, we do 10 of these and then repeat or do 30 straight, whatever you feel like. Again, don't get too caught up on reps and sets. But get creative, like I said, you know. Dynamic motion is whatever you want it to be. As long as you're not bending a joint in a direction it's not supposed to go, you know, it's not gonna hurt you. If I go like this a couple times a day, it's not gonna hurt me, right? So like I used to do that all the time. I used to try to make up dynamic stretches with my back and shoulders. You just start from here, right? Drop your shoulder, and then just start. You wanna hit one side more, that's it. Slow, controlled motions, don't rush through it. And then every time I go back, ooh, pop. Yeah, see that? I just felt that open up. And this has been my life for the last couple of months, just opening up those shoulders, right? Slow, controlled motion, shoulders down. Always shoulders down. You don't wanna lift your shoulders and you don't want to like go like that, because that's a problem, right? If you can't lift your arms over your head, watch, watch me. Right? If you can't do that without lifting your shoulders, which most people can't, they go like that. And then they show up, see that? See, so I'm up, my posture's up. I'm lifting, 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 lifting. Head's not moving, right? 
This is what most people are gonna do. They're gonna lift and push and bend forward and the shoulders are gonna go up. Cause all this is tight, all this is jacked up. I'm keeping it non-technical so my people could just understand the concept and not get worried about definitions. So yeah, that means everything's tight, everything's jacked up. You gotta break it apart, you gotta work it, you gotta open it so that we have mobility, right? If a part of your body is like bending forward or something's compensating, that means that you don't have the mobility to go like that, right? This is, again, this has been my life for the last couple of months working on my shoulder, but you want to get to a point where you can keep your shoulder down and you can lift your arm without lifting everything. So instead of going like that, I, see this? Has good mobility. You, know, you can go this way, you can go back. Most people, they can't touch your elbows together, right? If I asked most of you to do this, you probably couldn't do it. This isn't me showing off, this is just me showing you what I've been working on. Most people can like barely get here. They're so restricted, right? You know. Something to think about. All this is affecting your posture, all this is affecting your sleep, everything. There's a good chance you're getting headaches from all the tightness and knots and everything. So, you know, this is all stuff that basically we're gonna keep working at together. Okay, make sure you have like a grip on the skull but not squeezing, right? And make sure the shoulder drops. So hands, back of the head, shoulders drop, relax. Start from this position, I'm a bit more flexible. I can go all the way back, right? But start from this position. And then literally, mind-body connection. You're just gonna open and close. And that's why I encourage doing this with your eyes closed while you're waiting for your call for your tea, if you've got a minute. And as you open it, you might feel restricted, you might feel tightness. Don't push too hard. Just bring it back. Slow, controlled movements, right? Make sure you keep the shoulder down and relax. It's gonna help to open it up. And make sure you keep that grip in the back of your head. And then as you get more comfortable, you're gonna push back further. Yeah, you feel that pop. Push back further. And you're just creating space, you're creating open space. Cause again, you're always doing this, you're always hunched over, you sleep like this, you text like this, you work like this, you drive like this, right? When are you back? When are you ever in this posture? When do you allow your back and your chest to open up, right? I'll give you one more. Literally just hands in front of you, right? And then just open and as you open, just picture you're pinching the traps your upper back, everything squeezed together. I'm keeping the terms real simple so everybody can understand. Basically, you're just opening up your back, opening up your chest, and again, you may feel some cracks and pops. Hold this down, see? If you keep shrugging up, that was a problem I had. That can be rough, because that's gonna be, that just simulates more tightness, you know? You wanna keep it down, relax, so you have proper form. That's it, just open, close. You can do like, 10 of these, stop, do them again. Don't get so caught up on reps and sets because everybody, they're afraid to work out because they're just thinking about, oh, I need, how many reps and sets? 20 sets and five reps, what? Like, nah, just do it so it feels good. Do it so you have some good blood flow. And that's it. Shake it out, do a couple rotations in both directions, do it slow, you're done. All right, coffee's ready, go get dressed, go to work. Your neck, your back is taking you a little bit more, your posture a little bit better, you feel a little bit better now. Now you have a better start to your day. Simple, right? You don't gotta go to a gym, you gotta pay for that. And I'll just keep adding to stuff like this. So again, this was really impromptu. I just kind of did this off the blue. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all the things, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>